back bal vigyan bharti your own channel of learning uh, sorry being uh, a bit uh, irregular nowadays as i already explained why this is happening uh, even i am trying hard to continue all the classes but uh, i am missing somewhat because i am away from family and, and i cannot able to manage everything uh, of my own uh, sorry for uh, everything uh maybe one month more then after it will be regular for uh this uh miss classes will be regular uh, there will be uh, uninterrupted classes for the so hoping that i just want to start this session this class today and now we'll uh, talk about the problem number 43 on probability it says the percentage of marks obtained by a student in a monthly test are given there are five tests being conducted the percentage marks are 69 71 73 68 and 74 so based on the above table find the probability of the student where he is getting 70% marks in the test more more than 70 but marks so if i see the marks the 71 is more than 70 73 also more than 70 and 74 is more than 70 this is a simple uh, problem of probability because i am just uh, taking different sort of problems from the different sources so this may not be of a regular kind because i am just discussing on the condition probability uh, and uh, base base uh, theory and then now uh, as uh, i am just turning into another sources so this has come Uh, randomly so this is a simply you can understand what will be the case the probability of getting uh, more than 70% mark that is my probability so uh, my total uh, sample space is 5 so 5 is the case out of the 3 is the, is the uh, my favorable conditions where uh, the student is getting more than 70% mark so my probability will be 3 by 5 it is very simple as already done several problem so the next one is uh, two players sangeet and rashmi plays a tennis match the probability of sangeet uh, of some winning the match is 0.62 what is the probability that the rashmi will win the match so as you see there are two players only in the event and uh, and they are competing each other so because two are playing uh, tennis match because they are competing each other now one's win is the other's loss so that means if uh, winning of sangeeta means the loss of rashmi that means winning of uh, sangeeta that can be said as, as uh, sang that can be said as uh, instead of saying loss we can say the winning of sangeeta is not winning of rashmi that means probability of any event winning and not probability of not winning this together is a total probability of that means winning of sangeeta in the in the better sense win, winning of sangeeta is not winning of not winning of rashmi this together will give you the probability one so as you see the the probability of sangeeta winning the match is 0.62 what is the probability that rashmi will win the match so that means here rashmi's win is similar way sangeeta's not winning losing so this also true if it is if it is true then for that sample space this also true the winning of rashmi and not winning of sangeeta will give you complete probability 1 So this also true. If this is true, this also has to be true. So on that basis, so we need to have what is the probability that Rasmi will win. So from here, what we will get the not winning probability or winning uh, uh, this uh, sorry this uh, the winning probability of Sangeeta is not winning probability of Sangeeta together will give you one. understand so winning of any event means happening of any event and not happening of that event together so winning of sangeeta 
associate with not winning of sangeeta will give you one so from here the not winning of sangeeta it will be sangeeta will be one minus uh, that is given winning of sangeeta's chances is 0.62 so this will be my answer is 0.38 okay so now here so winning of uh, uh, winning of uh, rasmi will be uh, the, the what is the probability of winning of rasmi winning of rasmi plus not winning of rasmi is giving a one so not winning of rasmi is equivalent to what not winning of rasmi is equivalent to winning of sangeeta because they together this also true so third equation can be that we have already written winning of sangeeta plus not winning of rasmi that also true is equal to 1 because if you see if sangeeta is winning rasmi is losing so this together will give you 1 and individually if sangeeta is winning and sangeeta is not winning that is same as uh, sangeeta is not winning the rasmi is winning so both cases both case together either sangeeta winning or not winning and sangeeta winning and losing of rasmi is the same uh, representation of one uh, of the experiment so this all are true the winning of sangeeta and not winning of sangeeta winning of rasmi and not winning of rasmi winning of sangeeta and uh, not winning of rasmi or else winning of rasmi and plus not winning of sangeeta will all give you one so all these four are the representatives of one or all the one or the another okay so this is also from this aspect we can say the probability of winning of rasmi is equivalent to probability of winning of sangeeta or the other way winning of sangeeta not winning of sangeeta is equivalent to probability of winning of rasmi so now this 0.62 if it is the uh, what we have to find the winning of probability of rasmi so winning probability of rasmi is the equivalent of not winning probability of sangeeta so that we have found 0.3 so the winning probability of rasmi is equivalent to 0.38 will be your answer okay you understand what i am saying because there are only two uh, event uh, two event that means sangeeta and rasmi they are playing each other so both together will give you complete probability one will win and other will lose automatically so whatever the percentage of one that will be distributed among them by the chance of winning or chance of losing okay so chance uh, the the winning of someone can be said to be the loss of someone okay so this way this probability will give you and um, and winning of someone and not winning of the uh, the person also will give you the one on the other aspect because not winning of that person is the winning percentage of the other person okay so the next one is uh, a twister you can say because sometimes it not a direct sum sometimes it is a uh, mind storming for uh, for uh, to judge whether the concept is clear to you not uh, this is that kind of thing what is the sample space when a uh, coin is tossed until head comes and what i have extended it what could be the probability if you want to calculate in a numerical value what would be the probability now first we understand the concept concept is that getting head by tossing uh, tossing a coin there is a, always a chance of getting head or tail so now if i say in the first instance of toss i get head so uh, my probability become 100% so that could be happen or if not 
in two chances i am getting hit so first may be the tell second i am heading so this could be possible or this may be possible that consecutively two tell i am getting then after a head i am getting so i will not stop until i get head so head always come at last if not the first in first instance head must come at last chances if i want to increase the increase the experiment uh, under failure failure means you are getting tell so this can also possible that three times you are getting tell and head then this way this will go on till infinite times that could be possible that you go on trying and every time you are getting tell and one chance you are getting head so then you have to stop so there are probability that always you are getting increment in tail only because once you will get head that their experiment will end so this is the sample space so this could be said to be infinite because you never uh, definitely say that where head will come so your probability goes on increasing okay and if you see that uh, the probability the chances is one here or because this are clubbed with if i want to calculate the probability then how will you uh, how will you represent this either in first chance it is come or in second chance or means that will be added in second chance means half of the chances you are getting head now if you do the experiment third time and getting once because once you get head that experiment will be over so this will be the possibilities so you will get one third of the chance head you are getting and similarly this will increase and this will give you something a series this kind of series is called your harmonic progression okay just the reciprocal of an ap series this this i am not uh, uh, yet taught this series i will teach you later on this is a subject all together this is a complete chapter this will come but this series if you see it is a harmonic progression where the series is just reverse uh, inverse to the ap series and this series is continue to an infinite terms there could be possibilities that this is the this will continue till finite terms and and there also a possibility and will 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 uh, learn both the cases if the harmonic progression go, uh, continues till uh, finite terms what would be the sum of that and if it is infinite terms what will be the sum of that now as of now i will directly write the sum of this this can be proven logically because this mathematically can cannot be this is you will get the value of infinite because this this is a divergent series because the series that the, that you can sum of in case of infinite series if it is a convergent series then only you will get a definite sum if it is a divergent series then your sum will become infinite so this series this hp means harmonic progression this is called harmonic progression and this particular this series uh, the sum is infinite so the probability cannot be defined in such cases where the condition of my favorable condition is that until i will do the experiments where head will come and it will be ended when head will be arrived so if we want to get the total probability the probability will be represented by this series if we end up here or if we write this an infinite divergent series the sum will be infinite means undefined okay so then also this true understood so i will end up here today and in the next video i will uh, uh, start from problem number 45 thank you